Tesla, we always want to have the production car be better than the show car. It like it always drove me crazy when like, manufacturers would show, come out with this cool looking show car and then the actual production car would be way worse. The Tesla Cybertruck has created a cult following even as delivery times are consistently delayed. The new update on Cybertruck will make you hold your breath because of a series of changes that are far different from the original version. So what exactly are those updates? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ring the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. The fundamental design change, uh, we're, we moved the mass to the outside. We created an exoskeleton. So normally the way that a truck is designed, you have a body on frame, you have a bed on frame. Tesla's chief designer, Franz von Holsensen, has said that the latest Cybertruck is very much worth the wait. There have been exciting additional features and changes to the new 2023 Cybertruck. However, we will start with what Tesla hasn't changed in the truck. The Tesla Cybertruck is constructed with scratch and dent resistant stainless steel and features an exoskeleton that can absorb and redirect impact force for improved performance and damage tolerance. Tesla claims the single motor Cybertruck comes with a maximum towing capacity of 7,500 pounds. The dual motor can pull 10,000 pounds while the tri-motor can tow a massive 14,000 pounds. Additionally, the Cybertruck offers a payload capacity of 3,500 pounds. It can easily pull different RVs, travel trailers, and lightweight fifth wheels. Moreover, even though Elon hasn't shared details of the new truck, insider leaks have suggested the new quad motor Cybertruck of 2023 will have a pulling force of up to 19,500 pounds, which is two times more than the F-150 Lightning and Rivian R1T at 10,000 pounds and 11,000 pounds respectively. The Cybertruck will have a 200 kilowatt hour 4680 battery pack manufactured by CATL. The battery pack is the key to the Cybertruck achieving a range of more than 500 miles. However, after the production of its own new 4680 battery cell stabilizes, Tesla is expected to use these new battery cells for the Cybertruck to cut costs. Thus, with two motors and all-wheel drive, the price of the 2023 Cybertruck can drop to about 43,000 US dollars. The three-motor version will cost about 65,000. This is all exciting, but it adds even more to the anticipation, so let's dive into the changes and upgrades that Tesla has made to the new 2023 Cybertruck. The Cybertruck's concept version is huge, and for many markets, it's just too big. Tesla is working on making it smaller and thus more practical for real-world driving environments. Musk said that the company had made the production version around 3% smaller. The 2023 Cybertruck has a new option. It's the detachable steering wheel mode. Assembling the steering wheel is complicated, so with this groundbreaking option, you only need one to two operations to remove the existing steering wheel and replace it with another one. It can even be swapped over by the owner for different countries. The image of the updated Cybertruck prototype was shared on Twitter by a Tesla owner who happened to catch the all-electric pickup truck as it was being unloaded. The vehicle could be seen fitted with a variety of sensors bolted onto the truck. From the picture, we can see two sensors bolted on the hood and another sensor off to the side above the wheels, which makes me wonder what those sensors could be used for. Well, those sensors support Tesla's full self-driving beta 10.69.3 and becomes completely perfect on the Cybertruck. This update will be released shortly after AI Day 2. Tesla is planning to bring back updated HD radar to the company's vehicles with the upcoming Autopilot Hardware 4 upgrade. Musk said that he expects the current hardware in today's vehicles to be capable of superhuman driving, but Tesla will continue to update their cars to have the most powerful hardware available as many believe that radar adds significant value to the Autopilot and the full self-driving. Elon Musk also said its Cybertruck sensor operates at a wavelength above 1400 nanometers, a long-range LiDAR sensor that it claims has the ability to see 400 meters away and the ability to detect dark and distant objects with low reflectivity. 
In comparison, Tesla now uses eight cameras and powerful vision processing to provide 360 degree visibility at a range of 250 meters. This new sensor uses light to generate a highly accurate 3D map of the world, so it's safer than ever. The Tesla Cybertruck at an event at the Michigan Speedway recently was missing a major feature, its massive windshield wiper blade, but not really. Maybe it's because Elon Musk is developing two windshield wiper options to be flexible anytime, anywhere. One is the laser wiper. Besides that, another solution is the deployable wiper stowed in the trunk. In certain scenarios, either a driver or in-vehicle cameras require an unobstructed field of view of the path ahead from the inside of a vehicle. Conventional windshield wiper systems that use multiple wiper blades usually have a cluttered design and do not sufficiently clear the windshield, which may hamper the unobstructed field of view of the path ahead. Thus, Tesla's plan uses additional laser beams as windshield wipers for Cybertruck. It describes a process whereby debris that obscures the view will be zapped courtesy of laser beams. It will rely on image processing and a handful of sensors placed in and around the vehicle. A detection circuit will send the appropriate messages, prompting the system to fire a beam that proceeds to remove the likes of dirt, droppings, grime, and more. The lasers will be intelligent enough to determine what does and does not need cleaning. Furthermore, this prototype also sports a new wheel design. Instead of the covered wheels of the original Cybertruck, the new Cybertruck has multi-spoke alloy wheels. The new wheels looked smaller. It is possible that the Cybertruck will feature the removable wheel covers when it hits the streets eventually. The charging port opening is likely on the rear left fender flare, not behind it like in the concept. This new wheel makes Cybertruck capable of crab mode, and here it's a welcome move as it will make this gigantic pickup more maneuverable. It will have rear steering which will cut down its turning radius, while the aforementioned crab mode will enable it to move both the front and rear wheels in the same direction, which means you can drive this truck diagonally. This would help in tackling obstacles. So. How do you feel about the new Cybertruck updates? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Otherwise, that's it for today's episode. We sincerely thank you for watching and for all of your support of our channel. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please leave us a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs. And be sure to leave a comment down below to tell us what you thought about today's content. Once again, we thank you so much. From all of us here, we hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and be safe.